Well, hello, Commandant, and welcome back to the operation, guys. Last we left off, a lot of interesting things happened. Of course, we're still making our push towards Kursk, Kaluga, and of course, Moscow. But we need to look at more realistic goals, particularly Kaluga and Rzhev. We're going to try to continue our move, guys. Of course, we're already in Bretsk. We haven't managed, or Bryansk, excuse me, but we haven't managed to take it. Um, and we're going to go ahead and I'm thinking try to cut the enemy off here. But I want to look at other possibilities as to what we can actually do. So let's look over here uh, on the right side near Kursk. And as you can see, we do have two tanks that could possibly attack Kursk. But I'm not thinking that they're going to be particularly effective on this attack. Nonetheless, we're going to try. We're going to go ahead and charge or hit and as you can see the chances are we're not going to do any damage also if you look over here you can see that this is actually a special tank brigade we also have a special panzer unit ourselves or an elite panzer unit we're going to go ahead and commit to the fight and hope for the absolute best So actually, all things considered there, we did pretty well. We did a tremendous amount of damage to the enemy there on the right side. And if we get another chance, we very well could break through. Now, of course, the enemy is going to attack us near Rejev, and they're leaving Rejev open for this attack. As you guys can see, it doesn't always require you to have tanks to take out tanks. And right there, the enemy manpower is far superior to us. They have a lot more shots than we do. And that kind of goes to show you why they're winning that battle pretty single-handedly. Um, so if you take a look over here, uh, places if we zoom in, for instance, like Vyazma, they still have victory point significance. Uh, same with Mojaisk. So we might want to go try going for one of these areas, one of these more realistic victory points, especially in our current predicament. Then again, I could also try and push both units up towards Oleno, Olenino and see if we can't destroy this enemy cavalry unit. And there actually is a slight chance of a re retreat, but I'm taking a major gamble by trying this. Let's go for it. So as you can see, tremendous amount of hits taken on our side there really did not work out. And who would have thought that cavalry could be actually pretty effective in a trench position? Okay, guys, more time has passed, of course. And we're going to try to head over here to the right side. Now, we do have some units here, but I'm just not sure where specifically I want to send them. Uh, I guess I could cross the bridge here to Shostka. We'll move this guy over to Novgorod. And this is just to bring some more forces there on the right side to bear on the Soviet line. Beautiful. So there we go, guys. One more chance to interdict a Soviet unit. Uh, and I'm going to take a look probably at ones over here on the right side. This is a very good selection uh, just to make sure they can't move back. We'll go ahead and select a Soviet unit to interdict. I guess we can't use, we can't select the one in Orlovka. It's got to be one of these. So how about this guy? Well, then again, I'm trying to look at other areas where this might be useful. Let's actually use it on Kaluga. We're going to commit to that. And at this point, we do have an infantry replacement. I'm trying to look at where I want that. And I'm definitely going to want that infantry replacement uh, over here in Bryansk. But as you can see, this unit has not lost any strength pips. So it's really not worth much. So I'm going to go ahead and give it to this division right here. They look like they could be useful later, the 53rd Corps. And we are going to commit that strength division. Now, guys, I'm hoping we can take Bryansk this turn. I'm really wanting to get a nice little victory. So let's go ahead and see if we can't take Bryansk. We should be able to make the enemy retreat here or at least do some damage. Uh, but there's still that chance because of all the cover here that they will be able to hold out. Let's commit. Beautiful. That is going to be a victory for the Reich, my friends. And of course, that is completely in our control. I'm also going to be sending just one of these tank units up to Karashev. And in fact, I only can send one just to make sure that the enemy doesn't try to cut us off over here. But that is awesome. We've taken uh, the very, very important city, of course. And we need to continue to take other locations here from the enemy. So here we go. The enemy is actually going to try to attack us in Kursk. That may have been a mistake on their part. I think we responded pretty damn well. 
also gives me an idea, guys. This not only leaves course open, but it also leaves this area over here open. And I'm thinking maybe we could go ahead and press our luck in both areas. So we're going to head to Orel, and we are going to attack. This is definitely a risk. Honestly, if I were you, and this is just my opinion, I would be going to Kursk to assist with that attack. But I can't help myself. I see this 5th Airborne unit here. It's an elite unit, and I also want to take this town. That's two birds with one stone. Let's hope for the best. Pretty close. I mean, we certainly did damage to the airborne unit. As long as the enemy doesn't get behind us, I'll consider that a pretty good attack. All right, guys. So in Sichovka, it's pretty clear that the enemy has made it so that this unit has very little value. These tank units really have no value anymore. And that's actually something that the enemy has done that's extremely useful. Now, I wonder if we can take this unit from Karachev and go ahead and attack Aurel a second time. I'm going for it. You guys can tell I desperately want to win a victory here in Aurel. Beautiful, guys. Now we've got another province to our name, of course. And I will be sending one guy north to head towards Tula. Another good idea would probably be to send one of our guys over here towards Kursk to try and help our tanks take the city. But I'm thinking going towards Tula is going to be much more useful, and the enemy's going to have to send units here to defend this area or face certain death. There we go, guys. Whoa. You can see the AI in this game is exceptional. So right away they saw what we were going for. They jumped to Tula and that made my move more or less completely useless. Now I am going to attack in Kursk. And here I really do need to win, but there's more than a 40% probability that we're not going to do any damage to these special units, especially the 4th Tank Brigade. Nonetheless, I believe in our men. I hope we can do it. Let's go for the attack. Okay, well, at least we took out a specialized unit. Of course, the army is still holding the city of Kursk. And as long as the enemy is the first unit there, they hold it until we push them out. They're essentially in that town defending. Here we go, another huge unit from Moscow, the 5th Army. We don't need more large Soviet infantry units to deal with, but it is what it is. Okay, hmm... A lot of infantry stuff over here that we have to deal with. And I'm actually thinking I want to push our infantry attack in this region. But there are other things we can do here. For instance... Beautiful. Now not only have we taken this location from the enemy, we can actually send one of these tank units to either cut off the enemy unit here or to head to Kaluga. And I'm definitely going to head to Kaluga. It's always best on a battlefield, at least from what I've heard, to make the enemy acclimate to your moves and not the other way around. In this case, they're going to have to send someone to defend Kaluga or risk losing it. So I think this is the better option. Alright, they're taking Vyazma, definitely smart by the uh, Soviets, and of course Vyazma is worth some points, so we probably want to move towards it, uh, like now. So actually, I just said we want the enemy to acclimate to our moves, but guess what they just made me do? They made me acclimate to their moves. Typical Soviets! Well, that's what's to be expected. Let's commit. Wow, so we actually managed to damage them, but they managed to get us to retreat from Spashtaminsk. And there we go, guys. The turn is over. Of course, we get yet another Soviet unit uh, to interdict. So I'm going to take a look here, and I'm going to be taking, of course, the unit at Spashtaminsk. Now we get to actually give some of uh, the strength to our armor units, which I really was looking forward to. And this unit here in Kaluga is going to have a lot of work to do, so I'm going to give him the armor. And this turn, he will be moving into Kaluga for a victory march in the city. 
Hope you guys are enjoying this series. Make sure to hit that like button if you do. Uh, for more information on the game, please ask down below in the comments. We always like to see your feedback, and we will definitely get back to you guys. Thank you for watching. Take care, guys, and let's hope for luck in the next battle.